Welcome back, everybody. This is Story Machine playing Undertale. Going back to Snowden. Got to a new town, new place. So let's watch. In the doghouse. That I killed. Killed that guy. Oh, well. This dog considers itself an artist, but doesn't ever know what to create. Probably doesn't help that its brain is the size of a piece of kibble. Okay. Like pants, dude. Nice pants. Oh, X's and O's. Oh, oh. Okay, I think I already messed up. <laughs> oh, here's this guy. Can we be friends? It's a snow papyrus. It's a lump of snow with the word sands written on it in red marker. Ants. I can see the resemblance. So don't fall off the edge, I guess. That's the moral of the lesson of the story. Okay, let me look at this. I'm going to study it for a minute. Let's figure this out. I know you got to kind of wind up up here to get to the switch. So I guess to get to there, you have to get to there. To get there, you got to get start from there. There, you can start from... Right here, here. So, okay, let's see if we start from here. You go there, 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 to there, and then there, 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 there. So, there, there, and reverse, going it this way. Oh, okay, easy. Just go in a big circle. Circle. See how brilliant my plan is. Kind of a circle. Hey! Look at that bridge. Where am I at? Sliding, sliding right on through. How can I... I had snow on my head. I had snow on my head. Put that snow on my head. Is I gonna explain that? I can go down. Check out what the sign says. Whose house? What a tiny doghouse. Woof. 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 It's got a tail. Oh, it's a cute puppy. Oh, it's wink, wink. It's so adorable. Oh. What was? It's the greater dog. I guess I'm the lesser man. Ah, bark. Ah, his barks are coming at me. Coming at me fast. He's watching me intently. I, uh, I'm gonna check him. Greater dog attack 8, 15, 18. It's so excited that thinks fighting is just playing. Oh, it always goes right for you. Yoink. It's easy. Alright, play, I guess. Greater dog is not excited enough to play with. Oh, okay, you gotta get him excited. Round up. Alright, I guess pet him. Greater dog is too far away to pet. You just pet the air. Okay. Dang. Ignore Beckon. You call the greater dog. It bounds towards you. Flecking slobber into your face. Flecking. That's a good word. That was tricky. Greater dog is seeking affection. Greater dog curls up in your lap as it is pet by you. It gets so comfortable it falls asleep. Zzz, zzz, zzz. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. Oh, great. Greater dog is patting the ground with its front paws. Uh, let's play. You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Greater dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now the dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. Greater dog wants some TLC. Alright, I guess I ignore. Greater dog inches closer. Alright, pet. As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. Your movement slows, but you still haven't pet enough. Of course not. Never enough. Pet capacity is 40%. Uh, really. We pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with its legs hanging in the air. It's a funny expression. Hanging in the air. The dog is contented. Alright, let's spare him. Wow, lost a lot of life there. 
Lost a lot of life. <laughs> wow, he looked a lot bigger in his armor. <laughs> He's got his button where the head is. Alright, I'm gonna backtrack. How does it fit in there? Such a mystery. Some holes. Spooky. What are these spooky holes for? Gift truck. Confront you. Attack 16. Some teens decorated it as a prank. Ho ho ho, go ahead and laugh. Oh, I like that. It's pretty cool. Ah, the scent of fresh pine needles. Okay, I'll undecorate him. You remove the striped cane that says, I use this tiny cane to walk on it. That's a little better. Ah. Get caught slightly less irritated. You give 35 gold because you can't think of an appropriate gift. Wow, that's a lot of gold, I think. Oh, you sure now. Zero XP and zero gold. Mushrooms, I like this cave. It squeaks. Is there a pattern? They all turn colors. It's a door. Okay, well, there's 24 combinations. I'm not gonna sit there and try them all. Look for a hint. There's eyeballs over here. Do they appear in any order? Kinda in the shape of the pattern of the mushrooms. There's only three of them there. Alright, I guess it'll make me come back and do that. Your love increased. I just love killing things. Got a feeling I'm gonna die. How far back is the save point? Far enough, I guess. Big bridge. Oh, here we go. Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror. Got the puppy dog. When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing you violently, up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Hi, right, bring it. Let's do it. Will, what's the holdup? Hold up. What hold up? I'm I'm about to activate it now. It's gonna kill me. That uh doesn't look very uh activated. Well this challenge, it seems. Maybe. Too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair. And my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. Don't, don't hit me with that puppy dog. <sighs> what are you looking at? This is another decisive victory for Papyrus. Yeah. 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 I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you... I would make sure I understand blue attacks. So like the stop signs that are red, right? Welcome to Snowden Town, Place Village Lane. Yes, a point. The sign of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Alright, we got a shop and an inn. Lots of people to talk to. No, this place is packed. Saw Yub's genocide run. Alright, this place is totally empty. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything. So, why be morose about it? Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern... something. Drain is crowding like sunlight. I would join them. But I'm just not very funny. At least I'm not making puns. This town doesn't have a mayor. 
But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. Who's this kid? Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to the various locals. Where's my present? I want a present. I don't get a present. I'm not local enough. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating his tree like horns. I think I saw it. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's tradition, tradition to put presents under a decorated tree. I see. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Tea. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. Bun 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 bun. I think I figured it out. No, never mind. Bun 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 bun. I guess she's got a dog on a leash. That's kind of weird since dogs are people here. Girl bees. Hey, I know some of these people. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and hot guys. Hot guys. Hmm. Isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I love to try it sometime. I like disgusting stuff. The jukebox is broken. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city slickers slip into their butts. Slip on... <laughs> slip onto their butts. Grilby's said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Dude, your head's on fire. I read enough to know all about that. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up anybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. I want to be like Undyne when I grow up, too. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, they say different stuff sometimes. And I've heard they have things called bathrooms. Yeah, bring them on. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. Better luck next time. Uh, toot. <laughs> I get super excited. Dogami and Dogarissa. Where's Doggo? I hope he didn't get lost again. Oh, is that the one I killed? Where's Doggo? I hope he didn't get lost again. Oh. It's funny. I wonder if it's different for killing different people. I might have to play through this again. I guess there's some different routes she can take. I make my own way. Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. Whoa, that's nice. I hadn't even walked all the way over here. Can I go in this house? It's locked from the inside. It's locked. This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Look inside? Sure. It's empty. What else? It just gets no nail, no mail. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. Go to the library. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know the sign is misspelled. Was it? Library. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it in with comics and games. <clears throat> when I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. 
I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made out of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Monster History Part 4. Fearing to the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city home. We braved harsh cold, damp swampland, and searing heat. Until we reached what we now call our capital. New home. Great name. Again, our king is really bad at names. Right, that's part four. It's going to be part one, maybe? It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page venom yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. Uh, monsters are mostly made of magic. Human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Bullet pattern, bullet pattern. I don't know what that is. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. Because they're made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler intentions, the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul is struck with a desire to kill, uh, let's end the chapter here. Gotcha. I didn't even see this guy here. Then look in your eye. You're someone that has difficulty solving Junior Jumbo, aren't you? What gave it away? The inn. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? I don't know, I'm just a dog. Welcome to Snowed Inn, Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80 gold. Stay or leave. Well, feel free to come back anytime. I guess you can get above your maximum HP. What's HP? Hello, traveler. How can I help you? Care to chat? Hiya! Welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? What to do here? You want to know what to do in here at Snowden? Grillby's has food, and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their things. There's two of them. Brothers, I think, they just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head to the far end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door has been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burr onto the door, forget about it. Oh, uh, okay, that's good. So I'm not supposed to get to that door yet. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic, but we all know deep down that freedom is, is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Your life. Weapon. You can slap him with a tough glove. Manly bandana. I think I got one of those. 15 gold. Yeah, give me some of that cinnamon bun. 22. Huh. Sell something. Does this look like a pawn shop? I don't know how it works where you come from, but if I start spending money on old branches and use bandages, I'd just be out of business in a jiffy. Bye now. Come back again sometime. Walked right through that flower. Nothing, nothing, nothing. No combat, at least. What's over this way? Can I keep going? Floating block of ice. Cold. Whoa, it's getting super cold. I can't see anything. Oh, I can't even move. Ooh, spooky. Human! Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you're cool. These feelings 
That must be what you're feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever have to wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not. You shall be lonely no longer. Ah, the great papyrus will be your... Oh, the papyrus. Free my body. No, 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 this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Papyrus blocks the way. Oh, Papyrus, what are you doing? Take the stick. You throw the stick, Papyrus brings it back in his mouth. Oh, I should have brought one of those. Okay, deadly attacks. Papyrus is rattling his bones. Papyrus, attack 20, defense 20. He likes to say, Nyeh! Nyeh! Papyrus is cackling. Can flirt or insult? Maybe I can insult him first. How selfless. You want me to feel better about fighting you? I don't deserve such hospitality from you. I wanted to say papyrus is something. What? Flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, well, I am a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti, or I have zero redeeming qualities. I, I'm going to try to sell it here. I can make spaghetti. Oh no, you're meeting all my standards. I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date later, after I capture you. I like those standards. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. I can't mercy him still. Or, oh no! Let's date later after I capture you. This could take a while. Papyrus is thinking about what to cook for your date. Flirt, but to no avail. Seems acting will escalate this battle. Let's date later. Papyrus stabs some bone cologne on his ear. Let's insult one more time. There's no need to lie to yourself. Your barbs hide your hidden affection. You mash emotional cactus. Papyrus stabs marinara sauce behind his ear. Oh, no, I'm talking like Papyrus all the time. No, I'm talking like Sands all the time. Alright, I'm gonna attack him, I guess. So you're serious? Then. Let's see if you can handle my Fable Blue attack! Deadly. I'm feeling like these might get harder. Hey, the music stopped. Ah! You're blue now! That's my attack! <laughs> You're blue now! Whoa, the bass is kicking up! You're, you're blue now. Let's see if he likes me better when I'm blue. Papyrus is too busy fighting to flirt back. Let's date later after I capture you. Should I let him capture me? I don't know what to do. Papyrus stabs MTT brand anime powder behind his ear. Let's do a bad attack. What? I'm not thinking about that date thing. Oh, yeah, these are getting harder. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. Aha, it's getting hard. I can almost taste my future popularity. I don't want to kill him. What? It's fast ones. Paris, head of the Royal Guard. Whoa. Paris realizes he doesn't have ears. Paris, unparalleled spaghetti or Undyne will be really proud of me. What? How are you supposed to avoid that? Are you just supposed to get killed 
captured, I guess. Alright, just capture me, dude. The pirate is preparing a bone attack. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. <laughs> Oops. I'll have lots of admirers, but... Alright, I'm gonna see how long I can survive, I guess. Keep saying new dialogue, at least. Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? Look how straightforward he is. What? What? What the heck, balls? The fire sisters. Yeah! Someone like you is really rare. Oh, I see. You can move left and right. I forgot about that. And dating might be kind of hard. Oh. Smells like bones. After you captured, it's after you captured, it's sent away. Papyrus is considering his options. Ah, who cares? Give up! Yeah. Almost had on. Papyrus is rattling his bones. Give up or face my special attack! Yes, very soon I will use my special attack. You're just great, you recovered for team. Behold my special attack! That's just probably done. What the heck? That's my special attack! Hey, you stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey, what are you doing? Come back here, with my special attack! Oh well, I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Pirates is getting ready for a regular attack. So we have to fight him to like, progress the story at all. Miss, sigh, here's an absolutely normal attack. Yeah. Ah, uh, ah, uh, super confusing. Well, that was enough to mess me up. The dog seeming coming at me. Cool dude. Oh man, how did I get hit so many times? Well, I can fly. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Oh, I'm almost dead. Shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great papyrus, I like to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Thank goodness. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Papyrus is sparing you. Heck yeah. I'm just completely dead. Yeah, ha ha. I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Hondine is going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the royal guard. And my friend Quandi won't remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends or what a loser. Uh, something nice, I guess. He's feeling bad. Don't want to dump on a guy when he's down. It's just rude. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well, then. I guess. I guess I made an allowance for you. Wow, we haven't even had our first date. And I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to get people off of puzzles and then fight them. You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit, except someone with a powerful soul, like you. 
That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Ah, uh, the plot thickens. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you'll have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is, well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I am certain if you just say, excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. Nah. Whoa. Nice walk. I'm almost dead. If there's a save point up here. Don't want to go back through that fight. Yes, save point. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome! She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm out here. Uh, uh. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard. Ever and ever. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard. Ever and ever. Hey, it's Ian's. I am saving. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Let's see what Sans has to say. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Want to come? Yeah, or I'm busy. All right, let's go. Well, if you insist, I'll find myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. That's shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sands. Hi, Sands. Uh, okay. Alright, guys. Well, it looks like that's going down another rabbit hole. So, I'm going to end it here. Pick up later. We'll see what Sands has to show us. I'm going to talk to some people at Grillbeast. So, a Papyrus, he's a madman. We're going on a date. Yeah, good stuff. So, thanks for joining, you guys. Have fun out there. My food, kitty cat. That's my food right there. Don't eat that food. That's my dinner. You can't eat that. Where are you going? Come here, bud. Nah, I don't trust you there.